Hello, my name is Jeff Goodman with Customer Technical Education Center, and I'm here to talk to you about the installation of the variable frequency starter generator on the GENX 1B. The installation can be made easier with less chance of damage to the preformed packing of the VFSG spline drive shaft and to the carbon seal in the accessory gearbox by using the spline alignment tool. This tool helps you to pre-align the VFSG with the engine accessory gearbox, making installation easier and quicker. Lubricate the preformed packing with engine oil and install it on the VFSG drive shaft. The VFSG Spline Adapter Alignment Tool is recommended equipment. This tool aligns the variable frequency starter generator to the engine accessory gearbox to reduce the chance of damaging the VFSG shaft preform packing. Put the Spline Adapter Alignment Tool into the input spline of the engine accessory gearbox and timing pin hole. Loosen the knob on the spline adapter alignment tool and adjust the spline adapter alignment tool until the bubble is in the center location of the level. Tighten the knob on the spline adapter alignment tool with your fingers. Remove the spline adapter alignment tool from the input spline of the engine accessory gearbox and place the spline adapter alignment tool onto the input shaft of the variable frequency starter generator and timing pin. Make sure that the bubble is in the center location of the level. If the bubble is not in the center location, use the adjustment handles on the LRU jack stand until the bubble is in the center location of the level. Remove and stow the spline adapter alignment tool. Raise the VFSG into position and now with a minimum of adjustment you should be able to install the VFSG into the engine accessory gearbox mounted drive pad and quad ring. That's it for this GE maintenance minute on the installation of the VFSG using the spline alignment tool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.